We got a party. Lovely. Uh, uh, right, so it's not. So it's not right. What, what is it? Crisps, that's what I need. Right. So this one then. She's an onion. So it's not balanced. What is it? Where is he? Ah, uh, himself. Now, are you ready for a party? Because I know you are. You say it best, my friend, when you say nothing at all. Right, now, come here. Oh, I like it, see? We got buffet, we got dance floor, we got buffet, we got dance floor. This is my type of party. Right, I said eight o'clock, where is everyone? Ah, oh, Steph and Abby. Hey, don't be eating any of that chocolate. The party. Ah! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got you good and proper there, Howard. You, you, you haven't shocked me, you've just surprised me. What the friggin' hell is that thing? This is my guy. Guy. Howard. Howard. Guy. Right, then people think I'm strange. Steve, when I said, right, that you and the guys were invited, I meant my actual people. Yeah, well, we can't leave it where it's hard, can we? Right, come on, bring him in. Steve. What? What are you doing? I'm just taking a car. All right, but it's your responsibility. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Alright. Steve. Just get you in. Fine. Fine. Find me. Come on, Steve, in you come. Ha <laughs> ha. Good evening. Impressive spread there, Howard. Yeah, thank you very much. I've, uh, I've done the full works. Are those chocolate fingers in the shape of a firework? Correct, Armando. Nice touch. Thank you very much. See, I thought it could be like the main centrepiece of the of the table, because mm -hmm. the kitchen's always like the hub of any good house party. Uh, and I was going to go with an ice sculpture, but uh, it a bit of a problem. My ice cubes are a touch too small. Steve. Remind. Well, I do a bit, yeah, because I've got people coming, right? I don't want it losing its wow factor. Steve. Steve. No. Help yourself to anything, but a chocolate finger. And then, you know, come outside, all right? Because, you know, I got some sparklers. Right, Anna. Not bad. Hey, welcome to the party. Big turnout. Yeah, well, it's only been you to start with, but yeah, we'll get cracking. More people will show. Yeah, it's early. Hey, I never asked you what happened with that day. Did you end up meeting her on the car park? The less said about that, Steve, probably the uh, the better. It was uh, mm. problematic. Well, what happened? Did she not like the picnic basket? Uh, uh, she loved the picnic basket. She just uh, wasn't a fan of my picnic basket. <laughs> what, did you end up weirding her out then or something? No, he just, you know, rather not like, talk about it. Oh, I am only asking. Yeah, well, what's with all the questions? Why are you whispering? 
because my mum and dad went upstairs. They don't know I went on the date. Good. I'm not asking you a question. See, this is Steve. You ask for questions, I give you answers. And you're just like Judy Judgmental. That's why I don't. You're as bad as the rest of them. The rest of them? Well, at least I sure know. There's only four of us here. I, 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 I don't need this. I don't need a Steve. I don't well, need it from you. Some people are moving on with their lives. Nobody wants to hang around with a 23-year-old paper boy, Howard, who still lives with his mum and dad. You know I see them as fat mates. And don't be like, oh, when you're high horse, when you first came here, nobody wanted to hang around with you. You were the boyfriend, were you? But I, 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 I was there. Nobody wanted to hang around with you either, but I put up with you. So, what are you doing with your life? Well, right now, I'm trying to shout at you as quietly as I possibly can. But I'm doing exactly what she told me to, taking it step by step, moving forward. What are you talking about? What you told me? Who told you what? I don't need to explain myself. I told you this. I bet. Do you know what? Let's just leave it. Fine. 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 Do you know what, Steve? I think I think you should probably leave. You want me to leave? Well, I am leaving, but guess what? I'm taking my guy forms with me. He's staying here. Steve, put him back. You don't even like him. Right now, Steve, I prefer him more than I prefer you. So he's staying. Fine. And I am leaving. Go on, Columbo, on your way. Fuck off. Yeah, keep your guy forks. Not bad. Need him.